We believe that all women and girls should have the opportunity to live in a safe, just, and healthy society. We focus on three primary areas, health, violence against women, and women's economic security. We are involved with advocacy, with organizing, with developing women and girls as leaders and as philanthropists. The neighborhoods and the community organizers that we've been supporting have been disinvested and neglected for a long time. We need to be able to meet these groups where they're at, to provide them resources so they can create their own agendas, so they can identify their own problems, and they can come up with their own solutions. We want women from the communities to be a part of the solution. Chicago Foundation for Women was one of the first foundations that recognized um, the power and the capacity of women to be able to impact change. Here at Whittier School, we work predominantly with mothers, and we really are providing them opportunities and the tools to be able to take their own voice, their own power, their own leadership, and really be able to put that into community change. Yo he luchado desde que mis hijos están estado chiquitos aquí. Y su pregunta de ellos, ¿qué han logrado? Se ha logrado algo, pero sí se ve cambio de los niños. Ellos están contentos cuando ven que los padres luchamos por, por tener algo mejor para ellos. I'm from Inglewood. I was born and raised in Inglewood. I've lived in Inglewood. It's 98% African American with low incomes that have women as the head of households. The biggest problem we have is trying to save our babies, you know, from infant mortality. We took an innovative approach and organized community residents. We show them that they can advocate for themselves and they can speak to legislators, they can speak to city councilmen, they can speak to their neighbors, and that's how you change the community because it's neighbors changing each other and speaking and advocating for themselves. We started to recognize uh, in the community the power that parents have there were challenges with having our children educated early. Over 200,000 um, people are now talking about this, working on this, going forward to make the changes uh, that we need to make. The groups that we're supporting ultimately impact systems, ultimately impact systemic change. The help that Chicago Foundation for Women gives us financially it helps us do these small things on a community level, and I think it's just amazing, you know, that foundations are willing to fund and support the dreams of organizations when it, when it deals with young girls and women. Diversity is important, being of the community. Uh, this isn't about us coming in in Chicago from the north side and saying, here's what you need. It's about everybody from the communities, a very diverse engagement and involvement working with us. We have to have community input from residents and we have to have residents do the bulk of the work, whether it's through volunteer work or even if we find small monies for stipends, we have to have them at the front. Supporting our groups that do community organizing is not just about the, the activity that they're doing today. This is about supporting leadership development and supporting leaders over the long term. The biggest challenge continues to be funding. Um, the needs are huge. Our grants are small, but these groups can move a lot further and a lot faster with more resources. A Women's Foundation, because we look at everything through a gender lens, and we do that uniquely. 
Nobody else really comes in with that, that specificity, and it's critically important. We work across the intersectionality of all these issues. We may be talking about economic security, but the reality is they're, they're connected. You cannot address the lives of women and children without dealing across all the intersections of their lives. We're so proud of the work that we've supported in terms of community organizing for women because there are many funders that just won't go there. And that's because community organizing can be viewed as not strategic or not systemic. And that is absolutely the opposite of what we find. We know that women with given resources, with given the right resources and the right strategic grant, can make a huge difference for themselves and for their neighborhoods and their communities and their families.